Ladies and gentlemen, Natasha Karecki and David Axelrod. So, let's start off with uh, something that happened just today uh, with President Obama. Uh, Barack Obama. President Barack Obama. Good to be with you. Thanks. Between two ferns. This turned out to be quite a good move for him. Oh, I thought it was a, a brilliant move. It would have been inconceivable uh, back in the day to see a president of the United States doing an interview with a comedian. And certainly it would have been inconceivable doing it on the internet because we didn't have the internet. But I thought it was a, a brilliant thing to do because the mission of the president in, on that program was to promote the Affordable Care Act. Have you heard of healthcare.gov? Here we go. Okay, let's get this out of the way. What did you come here to plug? The most important mission now uh, is to sign up young people for the Affordable Care Act. Uh, what better way to, meet, uh, to reach these young people than on Funny and Die? And as of 3 p.m. today, there, there were 6.5 million views of that interview. That's amazing. Uh, you're not going to get that on the nightly news. And you're not going to get the aggregation of young people who will have seen that interview because of the venue in which it was conducted. So I thought it was an absolutely brilliant move, and I thought the president uh, acquitted himself very well. Who gave him clearance? Brings me to Rahm Emanuel. Um, do you think Tony Preckwinkle should run? Do you think that he's scared of her? I've uh, known Rahm since he was 22 years old. <laughs> I think he's someone who's highly motivated, and he treats every challenger seriously. And uh, whether she runs or someone else runs, I'm sure he'll take that challenge very seriously. Uh, I always say he's like a heat-seeking missile. Whatever he decides is his objective, he achieves it. You know, and I think he loves this job. I mean, knowing him as well as I do, and I served with him in the White House. I did his campaign for Congress. Uh, I worked with him in other campaigns. He worked for me when he was 24 years old, and I was running Paul Simon's campaign for the Senate. Uh, so I know Ram as well as anybody does, I think, and uh, I've never seen him happier or more challenged by a job than the one he has now. Loves being the mayor, loves the city. Mm -hmm. I think he's going to fight very hard to keep that job. You worked on Harold Washington's campaign I did. as well. And can you talk about the similarities and the differences with President Obama's campaign and Mayor Harold Washington's campaign? My great memory of that race was the enthusiasm within the African-American community in particular. Yes, it was, there were young people generally were motivated by Harold because he was funny and quick and irreverent. And we had had a, an ugly history in this city in which the African-American community had been a second-class community in terms of their political involvement. And Harold was about inclusion and we're gonna, everybody needs to be a full citizen here in Chicago, a full participant. And what, what you saw over time were there were these little blue buttons with sunrise kind of it, white lines on them. And people started wearing these buttons. I noticed more and more African Americans in particular wearing these buttons. And I actually wrote a column about this, about how these were badges of pride. These were badges of these were declarations of in involvement. This is what, you know, we're full participants in this process. You know, you asked me about Obama. There were elements of that there as well. There was a sense of inclusion, of a freshness and a newness. And in fact, you know, you probably all uh, are familiar with the logo for Barack Obama, the sun rising over the horizon. And that was inspired by those Harold Washington buttons because I wanted to recapture that kind of spirit uh, about our campaign. So I think that there was a kinship, and one of my great regrets is that he didn't live long enough to know Barack Obama, because I know that they would have been incredibly close. He would have been a great mentor uh, for Obama, and it was tragic that they, their paths never crossed because uh, they had qualities in common.